What's up? What's good? What's going on? Welcome to the War Zone once again. Here we are with Fight Night UFC Vegas 64. We've got Marina Rodriguez versus Amanda Lemos in the main card. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some brief predictions, man, and betting picks. Um, we're gonna add in some parlays for for this, man, and we're gonna start with the early prelims and work our way all the way up to the main card and um please subscribe to the channel if you haven't hit the bell icon for notifications um check us out every saturday man we be we're here live with the community man kicking it man and um doing live commentary man um you know and uh we just have fun man talking mma boxing and you know sports in general so come check us out man but uh anyway let's get right into it all right first up in the women's bantamweight division we've got tamirez vidal against ramona pascal so when i'm looking at these two fighters here man um I'm not too sure of uh, Tamiris Vidal. Um, don't know too much about her, but um, um, I have watched some footage on her. I'm not, I don't even know why she's in it in the UFC. Man, this is her debut. Um, so, uh, like I said, man, um, from what I've seen, man, I don't see anything. Um, very you know unique about her um however ramona pascal um i am familiar with her man um but she does has have suspect cardio as the fight goes on but she does have good grappling and striking um and you know i just i'm gonna have to go with ramona pascal man i really i'm i'll just Tamirez, I wasn't too impressed with her at all. So, Ramona Pascal by decision, but I'd stay away from betting on this one. Period. All right, next up in the men's flyweight division, we've got Carlos Candelario against Jake Hadley. Um, Carlos Candelario, this guy's a boxer, he's got experience. Um, educated hands i think this guy was a golden gloves um boxer um but he 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 he, he also competes in um jujitsu and grappling tournaments um this guy can fight man i mean he's he's coming to fight he's got good cardio um so i expect this you know to be a, a really really competitive fight um jake hadley um this guy's got boxing he's got good hands he's got grappling um he's got bjj as well he's got great cardio um and this guy was a champion in mul multiple organizations man i just have to go with jake hadley man as the safe pick here man i i think he's the safe pick um and um he is the favorite here um at what is it minus two two ninety two eighty so um 
Yeah, I have to go with Jake Hadley in this one. He is the pick. So you pick your poison. All right, next up. In the men's bantamweight division, we've got um, Ludwig Shalinian against um, Johnny Munoz. Um, Ludwig Shalinian, um, this guy, he can grapple. This guy is, I mean, he, he, he's relentless. Um, with takedowns um suspect striking though so um uh you know i i don't see him having a chance of winning this fight on the feet i think he's gonna have to grapple to um to have a shot at winning this fight um johnny munoz however on the other hand this guy's got um he's the bjj black belt he can grapple he can strike He's got big hands. He's going to have the better striking. Um, he's going to have kicks. And he, 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 this guy here um, manages his distance and range very well. I think Johnny Munoz wins this fight. I got to go with Johnny Munoz, man. Um, I'm staying away from this fight. But I think a safe bet, Johnny Munoz is uh, definitely a safe bet to make it now. All right, next up in the women's strawweight division, we've got Pollyanna Vienna against Jin Yu Fry. Uh, okay, so Pollyanna Vienna, man, she's a grappler, decent striking, um, very good BJJ. This girl is a sub threat. Um, however, I mean, she's going to be looking to work her. Her submissions early in this fight, first and second round. Um, she's very dangerous, man. Um, she's she's had submissions in all three of her last fights. However, Jin Yu Fry is is a veteran, very experienced. She's got heavy hands, um, and she uses her her heavy hands to set up her her clinch game and her grappling. Very strong. I think she's smart enough to um. You know, uh, keep this fight in the clinch, man. Because if the fight hits the ground, man, Pollyanna Viana is going going. It's going to be very, very dangerous for Jinyu Fry. Um, this one here, I you know, I I'm staying away from this one. I would stay away from this. But Jinyu Fry would probably, with their experience, man, find a way to uh, stay out of danger. But um, I mean, like I said, you guys pick your poison in this one, man. Um, it. it you know, um, this fight could go either way. It's a pick em fight. So, it's on you. Next up in the men's bantamweight division, we've got Mario Bautista against Benito Lopez. Um, this, people, this here is going to be a war. Um, this has uh, the potential to be fight of the night right here. Mario Bautista, this guy is a volume striker. He's a brawler. He's got great footwork. Um, I think he may be the slightly better grappler. Um, um, and this guy's a sub threat as well. Um, Benito Lopez, he, this guy is a, is a, is a good striker as well. Um, he may, uh, this guy fights from range very good. Um, he, 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 he keeps his distance very well. Um, this is just the overall good matchup right here. Um, uh, Benito Lopez packs some power as well. He's got takedown defense, but he's coming off a three-year layoff, man. So um, that could be a good or a bad thing, you know. And and you know, and from what I've seen um, with a lot of these fighters, I think a lot of these fighters um, take this time off, man, to heal up and to reset and um, refocus on their career. And I think it's a good thing, at, 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 you know, um, at times, because obviously if you're off that that long, it's, it must not be about the money. It must be about you trying to, you know, uh, get yourself together, uh, whether it be injuries, mentally, physically, the whole nine, or just to get better. So, um, 
I'm gonna stay away from this one, man, because uh, to me, this is a toss-up fight, man. You guys pick your poison, but uh, I mean, if I was to give the edge to somebody, it would probably be Batista. All right, next up in the women's flyweight division, we've got Miranda Maverick versus Shanna Young. This fight was supposed to take place a few weeks back. Uh, however, Shanna Young got um that fight was canceled because she got sick uh she was dehydrated and um that fight had to be canceled um however miranda maverick the solid striker uh come forward fighter man she she this girl will take you down to the mat she's very strong she is a sub threat um very heavy hips um, on the ground um, Shannon Young though um, You know this girl she can box She's got decent power um, She got takedowns as well um, And, and uh, She's very tough man She's a very very tough girl But I think Miranda Maverick here Is a safe bet man I, I, would, I would go on to say She's a parlay pick I think Miranda Maverick is just not going to play around with this girl. She's going to get her to the ground. She's going to rack up some control time, some ground and pound. Um, and just Shannon Young's just going to be too gassed uh, towards the end of the fight to really um, pose any threat. So, Miranda Maverick for sure. Uh, parlay pick. And, um, yeah, I think she gets it done. All right, next up in the men's featherweight division, we've got Derek Minner against um, Shylan Nordenbeek. Uh, Derek Minner, man, this guy is a relentless grappler, man. Um, I mean, if he doesn't get a takedown, he will just keep trying and keep trying and, and keep shooting until he gets a takedown. Um... um Poor head movement, though. Uh, very, very bad head movement. Very hittable, Derek Minner is. Um, Shailen Nurdenbeek, uh, this guy's got pace. He's got volume. He's got heavy hands. He's got grappling as well. He's got ground and pound. And I just like his IQ. I think his IQ is better than um, Derek Minner. Um and I think the, the grappling is going to cancel it, itself out. I mean, you know, as far as... And, and the better striking is going to go to Northern Beak. So I'm, I'm going to go with Nor Northern Beak, man. Um, I think he's a safe bet in this one to to win this fight. So I got Northern Beak, man, over Derek Minner, man, in, in this one. All right. Next up. In the men's catch weight. This is the men's catch weight. So this is uh this is this is a catch weight between heavyweight and light heavyweight in between there somewhere, man. We've got Jolton Almeida against Maxim Grishin. This is a lock for me, man. And another parlay pick. I got Jolton Almeida in this one. Jolton Almeida, this guy. Um, he's a problem, man. Um, this guy's got power. He can grapple. He's a sub threat. Um, this guy is going to pressure you when he's got a hundred percent finish rate. He's going to come at you from, from the opening bell. Um, however, I haven't seen much on his cardio. I mean, as far as if his fights don't really last, but, um, I'm sure he, you know, he, 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 he's just experienced enough to, to, um, uh, to handle that situation, but uh, Maxim Grishin, this guy, he can strike. Um, he looks for big shots. Very tough, very durable fighter. Um, but like I said, man, um, uh, a parlay pick, Jonathan Almeida. I got Jonathan Almeida by KO in the first round or early second round, man. So Jonathan Almeida is a lot for me. Uh, in this one man I just don't even think it's going to be close
right, next up in the men's lightweight division, we've got Grant Dawson against Mark O. Madsen. Um, Grant Dawson. Grant Dawson, this guy's got power. He can grapple. Uh, he can strike. Um, he's going to press pressure um, forward. Um, um, I mean, this guy can be taken down. Um, he is fighting against Marco Madsen, man. Um, who is the underdog in this one, man? And this guy's an Olympic Greco-Roman wrestler in the past, but he doesn't use his wrestling. You know, I, I, I just don't get it, man. Um, suspect striking, um, but he has improved. Um, in his striking, um, he's got decent power as well. Um, but, ah, man, this is a tough one, man. I'm staying away from this fight, man. I really can't. This fight could go either way. Um, if Marco Madsen comes out and, 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 and I mean, it, it's going to come down to whose cardio is better. Um, I think Grant Dawson gets it done. That's my pick. I think Grant Dawson gets it done. Um, however... Marco Madsen, man, if this guy comes in and he is on point, um, it's going to be a long night. It's going to be a really, really tough. But I'm giving the edge to Grant Dawson in this one by decision. Next up in the men's flyweight division, we've got Tagir Ulembekov against Nate Manis. Oh, my God. This is another, another tough fight to pick um to gear ulan back off man this guy's a dominant wrestler man he, um uh, not much of a striker but he will strike to set up his takedowns um he's got a decent jab um and i think he's just gonna be looking to uh rack up some control time um to make it a really boring fight um however nate manis um he is the underdog here and he's a live dog, so keep that in mind. Nate Manis is a live dog. This guy's strong. He's experienced. Um, he's experienced as a grappler. He's got power. He's a brawler. And um, this guy's a kickboxer. So uh, I'm, I'm just saying, he, he, he's decent. He can be taken down. Um, but I think the, be the better grappler here is going to be Ulan Beckoff. Um, and I think Ulan Beckoff's off um success is going to come by pressing forward and keeping nate manis on his back foot and i think he'll have success i'm giving the edge to ulan back off uh there's no way i'm betting on this um but i would say nate manis is definitely consideration for a live live dog in this one but uh for me personally i i give the edge to ulan back off to win this fight by decision All right, next up, we got heavyweights, man. We've got Chase Sherman against Josh Parishian. Um, Josh, uh, let's see. Chase Sherman, man. Um, this guy's a boxer. Uh, he relies uh, heavily on his timing. Um, uh, he's definitely going to be the faster, have the faster hands of the two. Um, he does throw volume, but he is hittable very hittable um he has decent power i mean he's shown that in his last fight by ko and um um bandera um josh parisian though man this guy is a press forward guy who throws a ton of volume this guy's this guy set the record man for the most um strikes in and uh amongst uh in the ufc total strikes uh in a fight um this guy he can grapple too and that may be the difference in this one man josh uh uh parisian uh, i think his last fight he had two or three takedowns so um and he landed 100 strikes in his last fight you know so um this guy this guy uh this guy is coming coming to 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 to, to throw down um i'm giving the edge to josh per, uh parisian man i just Tay sherman um you know he was cut by the ufc and then they let him back i just 
I don't trust him, man. I'm going to go with Josh Parishian to pull it out, man, by decision, man, um, in that one. All right. So, next up in the men's welterweight division, we've got Neil Magny against Daniel Rodriguez. Now, wow. When I'm looking at this, I see that Neil Magny is a slight favorite in this fight um neil magny man he's got the experience very well rounded this guy can strike he can grapple he's got decent leg kicks um only thing i see in this in this one that he may have the edge in and that's in grappling but daniel rodriguez has really good takedown defense daniel rodriguez is an underdog in this people Daniel Rodriguez is a live dog. I will lock Daniel Re Rodriguez all day. I will take him all day. I, Neil Magny has been around. Um, he's getting up there in age. Daniel Rodriguez is got some. He's got power. This guy's can box. He's got educated hands. He's got range and distance. Um, like I said, um, cardio. His cardio is 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 is, is good. Takedown defense is good. I don't see Neil Magny outstriking Daniel Rodriguez. And I, and, I, and I don't think Daniel Rodriguez is going to be afraid to close the distance. So, Daniel Rodriguez, another piece to a parlay, man. You should consider, man, and a live dog to take in this fight, man. I just don't understand how Neil Magny um, is the favorite. I, I just don't. But anyway, he's going to have to prove me wrong. So that is the co-main event. So here we are with the main event of the evening, people. We've got the women's straw weight. This is five rounds. We've got Marina Rodriguez against Amanda Lemos. People, this is going to be a, a good fight. Um Rena Rodriguez is, uh, this girl's got speed. She's got power. Um, this girl's got takedown defense. Um, four and one in the last five. Um, she, she just, she's a high level fighter. This girl can fight. Um, however, this is, this is going to be a war. A tough, really tough fight. Amanda Lemos has got big power. She's a live dog in this, people. She is a live dog. This girl, she's got power. She can strike. Um, I mean, she 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 got great body shots. She looks she looks to really really break the will of her opponents. Um, take down defense. She's four and one in her last fives. Um, but she's not a takedown threat, really. You know what I mean? Um, she's a Muay Thai fighter. But she is a KO threat. She will hurt you. And she's a good finisher. So, um, But I'm giving the edge to Marina Rodriguez. But Amanda Lemos is the live dog, people. If you want to want to take a shot on, on making some money, man. Um, Amanda Lemos, man, um, is a really good pick, man. Um, just like just like the Daniel Rodriguez uh, uh, um, pick, so um, Amanda Lee most live dog man. Um, but I I think um, Marina Rodriguez will find a way to pull this fight out. Um, that's all I got for you, man. Um, I appreciate you all for tuning in, man. Please once again subscribe to the channel, man, and hit the bell icon for notifications. Come and join us this weekend as we're going to be doing this thing live, man. We, our community is a very tight-knit community, man. We have fun, and come hang out with us, man, and let's chat it, and let's let's chop it up, man. Um, so, I appreciate you all, man. Peace and blessings to all. And with that, I'm out.